October 21st, 2010. I'm Mike Edwards, glad you can be with us. We have quite a bit to get to, including our top story, which is the Toyota recall. Yes, of course, we, over the past year or so, we've had various Toyota recalls. But this is the latest that is putting a dark cloud over that company. And this has to deal with brake flu uh, leaks in the brake fluid line. Uh, so, it is recalling more than one and a half million vehicles worldwide, including the 04 to 06 Highlander. Toyota's down seven cents a share to 71.62. Uh, it also like I said it included the Highlander uh, let me see the over the last and it involves the Lexus too brake fluid fr fuel pump problems that is what we are de what is dealing with so there should be a spot where it tells us what cars are in involved here it'll be 740,000 cars in the US and 599,000 in Japan uh, yeah. so okay here we go <coughs> In Japan, it involves the Crown, Crown Majesta, Heria, Mark X, Alphard, Kluger, Lexus GS350, the IS250, and the IS350. May of 2002 to November of 05, and also involved is the Lexus. <coughs> and models. Uh, in the U.S. include the uh, 0506 Avalon, 04 through 06 non the non-hybrid Highlander, and the Lexus RX 330, and the 06 Lexus, uh, Lexus GS 300, IS 250, and IS 350 vehicles uh, that we have. Uh, that is what has been placed into effect by that re the recent recall. So, Toyota owners, make sure you get them ta taken care of. In political news, of the local area, Nanticoke actually to be exact, Bill Clinton is going to be stumping uh, for Democratic Congressman Paul Kanjorski. Former president is scheduled to make a campaign stop at a junior senior, the junior senior high school in the Anacoke area on Tuesday. Lou Barlett is leading Kanjorski in recent polls in the district race. Barlett has twice challenged the Incum incumbent and lost. So, that is what we are dealing with with <coughs> some of the more local election news. I've already placed my ballot. I do not have to worry about that race. Top companies donate big to chamber uh, to the Chamber of Commerce in policy fights the a business advocate has become an influential player in congressional elections. Prudential Financial sent in a two million dollar donation last year as Commerce kicked off a national advertising campaign to weaken the historic rewrite of the financial regulations. Dow Chemical delivered one point seven million to the chamber last year. And Goldman Sachs, Chevron Texaco and Agion, a multinational insurance company, 
based in the Netherlands, donated more than $8 million in recent years to a chamber foundation that has been critical of growing federal regulations and spending. So, this could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing. But we got m more news in the way of politics, where Chris Christie, the governor, Republican governor of New Jersey, uh, had criticized President Obama for being partisan and angry. <laughs> so, it's really interesting to see what uh, Chris Christie uh, says. That you can check it out on uh, msnbc.com. In business news, stocks have finished up just slightly in a little crazy trading, strengthening dollar and profit-taking drag markets from and profit taking dragged the markets from the big gains early. They finished with modest gains Thursday after pulling back from a rally that pushed share prices near their highest levels of the year. All three indices finished higher and anywhere from point uh, from nine hundredths of a percent to thirty five hundredths of a percent. And Let's run down the major indices right now. Dow, jo Dow Jones Industrial up 38.62 points to 11,146.5. NASDAQ Composite up to 24.60 with a 2.28 2.28 points and just a little bit over two points in the S&P 500 to 11.80. So, Dow's been helped by three members of the index through the industrial uh, Cat Caterpillar Inc., Travelers Companies, and the McDonald's Corporation. All beat earnings ex all beating earnings expectations. So definitely some continued good news in the stock market as it continues on the upward climb. In weather we are experiencing some chilly temperatures. <coughs> Currently, right now, we have a 38 in Mount Cobb, Scranton area is looking at low 40s, uh, high 30s, low 40s. Buffalo, we're looking at, at 38 degrees. And in down here in Phoenixville, we're looking at 42 uh, degrees. Let's take a look at our 7-day forecast. Um, just a brief word in our tropical season. Tropical Storm Richard uh, has formed in the Caribbean. I highly doubt it's going to affect us with the way the weather is right now. So, we should be fine. Let's get to our seven day forecast. Where we're going to be looking at for Friday and Saturday, where my parents are not at right now. We're looking at partly cloudy, mostly sunny skies. Only a high of 47 today. Well, I should say tomorrow, Friday. Saturday, we're mostly sunny, 60 degrees. So a slight warm up on the way. Sunday, the 24th, few showers, 63 degrees. Monday, the 25th, some more showers, along with Tuesday, 63 and 64 degrees. Wednesday th and Thursday, the The 27th and 28th, we're looking at partly cloudy skies, 60 degrees. As we take a look at our Phoenixville forecast, where we're looking at mostly sunny, sunny skies for these next couple days, so it's going to be nice, 57 and 66, so 
white jackets if you're out. A low of 37 for Friday, so definitely if you're traveling, make sure you have that jacket available. Sunday the 24th, cloudy, 71 degrees, so definitely a warm-up on the way. Few showers on Monday the 25th, 71 degrees. Isolated thunderstorms on Tuesday, possible, 72 degrees. Wednesday and Thursday, sunny and partly cloudy, 70 and 68 degrees. And up in the Buffalo, New York region, one of my good sweet mates, actually, Chris Newsats, he's from that area, so definitely touching his home, his neck of the woods. Partly cloudy Friday and Saturday, 49 and 63 degrees, respectively. Definitely not much temperature gain, well, kinda. Showers are projected in the forecast Sunday through Tuesday. 60, 62, and 63 Sunday through Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, well, Wednesday, partly cloudy, 57 degrees. Thursday, same temperature, but different uh, weather. Showers possible. Like I said, high of 57 degrees. So, we definitely have some comfortable conditions. Not terrible but comfortable and a little damp too so that might take some effect but 